living sea. <sighs> Would you like a nice cold Zazuni juice, Bartleby? It's the best way to cool off on a hot day at the beach. Just don't get brain freeze. How can my brain freeze when my head's so nice and warm, True? <laughs> brain freeze is what it feels like when you drink cold drinks too fast. So sip it slowly. Brain, brain freeze! freeze. <sighs> Body freeze! Paw freeze! Tail freeze! Tail freeze! Tail freeze, you anyone? I got it, babe! <laughs> Good, fantastic. <laughs> I'll go see if Rainbow King and his guards want some. It needs a grand entrance where I can welcome my visitors and plenty of windows to see the kingdom from. Oh, and don't forget the balcony. Oh. That's where I address my citizens. Mm -hmm. There, see your majesty. Ah, oh, yes, thank you, True. My castle builders could use a break. Ice cold Zazuni juice. Oh. Mm. Don't drink it too fast, or else you'll get mm. brain freeze. Oops. <laughs> Ooh, a royal brain freeze. Oh, very refreshing. <laughs> so, what do you think? Does my sand castle look like my real rainbow castle? <laughs> Whoa! I can hardly tell them apart. Uh, what? Bartleby, did you finish the rest of the juice? <laughs> huh? What? Me? No. What? Did I? Wait. Let, let me check. No shivers, no chills, no brain freeze. Nope. Wasn't me. Oh, hey. Hey! <gasps> A sea blood? Oh, you're so cute. Did you drink all our juice? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I bet you just wanted to cool off a bit. <coughs> then let's go for a swim! <coughs> yeah, this shade sure does the trick. A sea blob that doesn't want to go in the sea? That's not sea blobby at all. Whoa! <coughs> I almost got blubbed big time! This is most unusual. Sea blubs hardly ever leave the water. Hmm. <gasps> the water's not cool at all. It's warm. Really warm. They're just trying to cool off in the shade. Maybe something's wrong with the living sea. Well then, we'd better check on it. Follow me. Come on, Barbie! Huh? Living Sea? Oh, yes, we go way back. I knew it when it was just a little puddle. <laughs> oh, wide and wonderful Living Sea, I ask that you please meet with me. Whoa. Rainbow King, how good to see you. These are my friends, True and Bartleby. They're very eager to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. The living sea doesn't look very lively today. If you don't mind me asking, um, your wetness, are you feeling okay? The heat, it makes me sleepy. Heat makes me sleepy too. The living sea must be part cat. But your water is always cold, even on hot days. That is correct. A family of ice stars keep me nice and cool. Ice stars? Yes, they keep the living sea cool. Just like the ice cubes in Bartleby's Zazuni juice. They really do. <laughs> <laughs> you can find them out in the deep water. But I am not feeling them today. Shocking pink! If something happened to the ice stars... Then the living sea would get warm. Too warm for the sea creatures to live in. We'll go and check on the ice stars right away. Oh. That would be most appreciated. You're welcome. Uh. Whoa! We're gonna need a blubber sitter soon. Our poor sea friends. 
I must try and cool them down. Good idea, Your Majesty. And while you do that, Bartleby and I will find the ice stars. Mm -hmm. Oh-Cumulo! <laughs> Hi, Cumulo. Let's fly out over the deep water of the living sea, please. Bye-bye. Water! Water everywhere! Boy, the living sea should really be called the mega gigantic humongous sea! I guess your point is it's a really big sea? <laughs> huh? Hey, but I do see a couple of sailboats. <gasps> Those aren't sailboats! They must be ice stars! What do you think would happen if I lick one? <laughs> you probably get the biggest brain freeze ever! <laughs> <laughs> they should be making the water cold. Are these ice stars working okay? I'll just give them my cat's paw test. <laughs> Brr! Paw freeze again! <laughs> hey, but didn't the Living Sea say there was a whole family of ice stars? Hmm. It is a big sea. Let's keep looking. That's it. A gentle breeze will cool you off. Be careful now. There's enough shade for everyone. Oh, my. Now there's no shade for anyone. Oh. Are you all right, my little sea blob? <laughs> well, that was lucky. <laughs> We're going to have to find a new way to keep you shady and cool. <laughs> hmm, that gives me an idea. No ice stars this way, no ice stars that way, no ice stars every which way! Whoa, get, getting dizzy. I might. Oh, oh. I've got you, B. Phew. Wait, I see one! Oh no, this is the ice star from earlier. I can see your paw print. Yeah, right! Wait a minute, there were two ice stars here before. Where'd the other one go? I don't know. We've looked everywhere and we still didn't find the other ice stars. And now we've even lost one. We need to figure this out and fast. Time for some wish help. Cumulo, to the wishing tree, please. Yeah! True, Bartleby, over here. Fern, engage blowing. <laughs> That's a fun way to keep cool. Fun and useful. I'm preparing the wishes for all types of weather. Windy weather, freezing weather, and sunny weather. Oh, so they'll be ready for all kinds of weather when they go out into the rainbow kingdom with me. Exactly. That one's getting used to the cold. Don't get brain freeze. Oh, well, it passes. And this wish is getting used to hot, sunny days. Uh-oh, look out! Whoa! Whoa! I gotcha! <laughs> you okay, little buddy? Are you here to cool off, too? Actually, Z, we have to cool off the whole living sea. The ice stars are missing. Oh, no. So the living sea is getting warmer. The sea blobs are leaving the sea to cool off on the beach. That is serious. Let's have a think about this. We've been all over the living sea looking for the ice stars. But we couldn't find them. So maybe they went under the sea for some reason. That's very possible. So we need a wish to help us search underwater. And then we need to make sure the living sea stays cool until we can get the ice stars back on the job. Good thinking, Drew. You've got a plan and you're ready to do it. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree.
wishes. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about their powers. Your first wish is... Chillsy. It is a freeze wish that blasts super cold beams to flash freeze anything. That's perfect! It'll help us cool down the living sea until we can find the missing ice stars. Are you up for chilling the sea, Chillsy? That's a yes! But keep my tail out of this. Hasn't it shivered enough today? Oh. <laughs> Your next wish is... Bubba. It's an underwater wish that can help you breathe underwater, too. We've already searched above the sea. To search under it, we'll need all the help we can get. Yeah, the only time this cat touches water is if I'm out of Zazuni juice to drink. Yeah, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> For your last wish, you have... Womping. It's a stomping wish. Nothing makes it happier than womping and stomping. I don't know how a stomping wish will help us find ice stars, but I'm glad to have you on board. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> Good luck, True Bartleby. Thanks, Z. There's a new sandcastle on the beach, and this one's even bigger! It looks like the Rainbow King found a way to cool off the sea blubs! <laughs> yes, I'm delighted that they're finally comfortable now. But if the living sea doesn't cool down soon, it's going to get very crowded in there. We haven't found the ice stars yet, Your Majesty. But we have our three wishes to help us. Let's go, Cumulo. <laughs> There it is! I'd know my paw print anywhere. Poor Ice Star. Cooling the living sea all by yourself. We've brought you some help. Oh. All right, Chillsy. It's time to chill the living sea. Zip, zap, zoo, I trust you! Wake up, Chillsy! <laughs> Wish come true! Hi, Chillsy. Let's see how far you can ice things over. Full power! <laughs> Great job, Chillsy. You can chill out now from all your chilling. So much better. <sighs> Thank you for the chill, True. You're welcome, Living Sea. But you're so big, we can't freeze all of you. It helps quite a bit. But without my ice stars, I cannot stay cool. We'll find the rest of the ice star family. I promise! <sighs> Okay, Cumulo, you keep looking for ice stars above the living sea while Bartleby and I look under it. Or, just thinking out loud here, Cumulo and I could stay up here. No soggy, drippy kitty that way. <laughs> oh, well, catch the cat again. <laughs> ah, tail freeze again? Are you kidding me? I am not having a good tail day. Ah. Oh, another sea blub. I bet you want to be in the colder water here. Hey! Ah! 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 Careful! We just made that ice! Aw, and I guess you want someone to play with, too. Why, oh, why do other creatures find me so irresistible? You are pretty cuddly, Beef. Why don't you keep little Blubby company while I go see if the missing ice stars are underwater? Bubba, time to do your stuff. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Bubba! Wish come true! Hi, Bubba. Let's go Hi. under the sea. Good luck, True! Oh, don't worry, Ice Star. I'll find the rest of your family. A rope? 
What's a rope doing under the sea? <gasps> the ice star's being pulled away! Someone's taking it! La -dee -da -da now isn't this better than jumping around and cracking all the ice? <laughs> Do I look like a ball here? Put me down. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I forgot to say gently. Oh, look. The last ice star is leaving. The last ice star is leaving? That's bad. And this is worse. Sea Blob, where are you going? Whoa! <sighs> hey, wait. What am I worried about? Ninja Kitties can jump from ice floor to ice floor, right? One, two, Ninja Cat, go! Hiya! Ha! Stay dry, must stay dry, must stay dry! Huh? You're dry! Ugh. Oh, true. Thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> I'd hug you, but, well, you have a big Baba helmet on. It's awkward. We'll have a big hug later, B. Okay. Right now, we have an ice star to catch. Cumulo! <laughs> did you find any more ice stars, Cumulo? Mm -hmm. Neither did I, but I know what's going on now. The missing ice stars didn't sink or float away. They're being taken away. Taken? Why would someone want to take an ice star? I'm not sure. That's what we're going to find out. Bubba, thanks for helping me underwater. I know the ice star went this way, but I don't see it anymore. Hey, maybe my sea blood buddy saw it. Yes! Follow that pointing flipper! Look, there's a clue! A raft and some paddles, and they're still wet! This must be where they brought the ice star! <laughs> well, something's making it cold around here. Do you hear that? The ice stars! They're all here! They are! Me, yeah! Excuse me? It's okay. We didn't mean to startle you. I'm True, and this is Bartleby. They're wondering how we found their cove, and I'm wondering how I know that. Bartleby, you speak rockish? <laughs> well, a little. I mean, you know, cats are very good talkers. We followed you here. Are you the ones who move the ice stars? They say they brought the ice stars here to cool down their home. They really like to play on the ice. But the ice stars belong in the living sea. Without them, it's too warm for the creatures who live in the water. <laughs> they say they're sorry. They just wanted to freeze the lagoon and go skating. They didn't know they were warming up the living sea. <laughs> But they sure cooled things down in here. All the ice stars in one spot might be too much, Chill. We have to move the ice stars out of here. Come on, everyone. All right, everyone, get ready. And pull! It's frozen solid. <laughs> we'll never get the ice stars out of here until things warm up again. And we only have one wish left, Womp It. How can a stomping wish help us warm up the canyon? Hmm. Wait. Maybe we don't need warmth. When the living sea was frozen, do you remember how the sea blob bounced on the ice and cracked it? Yeah, and then I almost got wet. Oh, yeah. Cats, don't forget stuff like that. Wompet could do the same thing. Uh. It can stomp and stomp until all the ice breaks. Then the ice stars will be free and we can get them out of here. I am stomping with joy at this idea! Time for some wish help. 
Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Wompit! Wish come true! Okay, Wompit. Ready to stomp it? Let's get stomping! With the Wompit Bam Slam, we're jumping up and down! With the Wompit Bam Slam, we're stomping all around! With the Wompit Bam Slam, can you hear that sound? It's the Wompit Bam Slam of our big feet on the ground! Woo! Jumping up, jumping down! Paws are up, paws are down! Huge hop, Wompit Bob! Keep on going, don't you stop! With the Wompit Bam Slam, all smiles on a frown! With the Wompit Bam Slam, we're breaking it down! With the Wompit Bam Slam, was there ever any doubt? That jumping up and down is what Wompit's all about! <laughs> our Wompit Stomping did it! All the ice stars are free! Time to get the Ice Star family back home to the living sea. How does the water feel now? Blop, blop. All nice and cool again. <laughs> <laughs> when winter comes and my surface is frozen, the rock creatures are welcome to come skating on me, True. Thank you, Living Sea. Did you hear that? Oh. It is such a relief to feel cool again. I feel a wave coming on. Whoa! <laughs> Bartleby, I thought cats and water don't mix. <laughs> they don't. Whoa! But the sea bluff got me covered. Whoa! They keep me nice and dry. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> For now. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Great grits, mouse. Hello, Marshmallow Bartleby. Hello, Drew. Quack, 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 meow. <gasps> Look, a box. Cats love boxes. But cats love yarn even more. Yarn? Did you say yarn? <laughs> Uh-oh. What's gonna happen to the Marshmallow Bartleby? Delicious. True. You're eating marshmallow me. I couldn't help it. You're just so marshy. And mellowy. I really am. <laughs> yeah. I like the glitter bird you made. Thanks. Oh, boy, you and I made a lot of great art today while it was raining outside. <gasps> Want to take this art party outside? Do I ever! Whoa! Mm, mm, mm. Whoops. Whoa! Whoa! True, are you all right? I'm okay. I just slipped on a marshmallow. Bad, inconsiderate marshmallow <laughs> for not making it in my mouth. <gasps> True. The door's a mess! What? This looks amazing, Bee. Look how glittery prettily it got. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and now it's even more amazing! <laughs> well, look at that. It matches our house. But glittery. <laughs> Whoa, dazzling door, True. That's some kind of door. Whoa, dazzling door, True. I think we just started something. I think you're right. <laughs> wow, look at all the neighborhood doors. They're so dazzling. Ah, this is amazing. So much great art everywhere. Hey, look! That, that's a painting of me! That is the sweetest thing. It's a potato. Oh. <laughs> Looks like everybody's making dazzling doors today, Fruki. Let's see how mine is coming along. Okay, Grismos. Let's see what you made to dazzle your princess with. Grismos, this isn't dazzling enough. 
We're on a mountaintop. My door has to be so dazzling that people can see it from all across the kingdom. <gasps> I know. I'll dazzle it with crystals. And not just on the door. I'll build a new tower entirely of crystals that everyone can see. <laughs> Find me the sparkliest crystals you can and get dazzling. Oh, yeah, sure thing. can't start my day until I get a kitty cuddle from you-know-who. The Rainbow King? I don't know. He's a busy guy. But there's always time for true tickles. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Fur, I'm very tickly. <laughs> I can't wait to see what everyone's doors look like. <laughs> How am I supposed to eat my car and I can't see it? Ah! What's happening? Whoa, this is way too much sun. I cannot believe I'm saying that. A cat? Too much sun? What's happening, True? I have no idea. Wait, look. That glare isn't from the sun. It's from Griselda's castle. Really? I can't see anything. Oh, yeah, there it is. It looks brighter now. Shinier. We've got to go up there and find out what's going on. Rain or sun, this blocks them both. Yep. I'm ready. Cue Milo here, buddy. Come on. Cue Milo, you poor thing. Is the sun hurting your eyes too? It's hard to fly when it's this bright out, huh, Cue Milo? Here you go, buddy. Yeah, suits you better, anyways. Let's go to Griselda's castle, please. Cumulo. Fruki, we've talked about this. No drooling. It's a lot of love. Far too moist. <laughs> Are you here to give me the award for the most dazzling castle? Nothing could be as sparkly as my new crystal covered tower. Um, no. This wasn't a competition. How can it not be? Everyone is doing it. So, what's the prize? A ribbon? A trophy? Wait, is it a crown? Sorry, there's no crown. A tiara, then? Nope. Not even a hair clip? No. <sighs> oh, well. But don't you just love it? My castle is the most dazzling home ever! It is, but your new tower is reflecting so much light, it's blinding the entire kingdom. Oh, so everyone can see my crystal sparkling? If it's too bright for some people, they can just wear sunglasses like you. <gasps> What was that? D did your castle just sink? Uh, my castle? Um, uh, don't be silly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to watch my Grismos put on even more gorgeous crystals. Toodles! Hey. Oh. Hi there, little Grismo. Oh, man. Huh? Uh, no problem. You want us to go down there? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think that's a yes. Uh, well, this one. Uh, here. Yeah, right there. Whoa! You live right beneath Griselda's castle? How cute! You know, not the most cat-friendly furniture, though. That's just an observation. Look, Bee, that pillar is where all the crystals are coming from. 
Oh no! Griselda's new crystal tower is getting so heavy, that pillar's gonna crumble! That's what you wanted to show me. Uh, uh. You poor little Grismos. Oh no! <laughs> uh. Whoa! Gotcha! <laughs> Griselda's castle is sinking. And we're right under it. Everybody, let's get out of here before that pillar breaks! Single file, Grismos. This is not a drill. Okay, Grismos. The new crystal tower is making the castle too heavy. And now the castle is sinking into your home. <laughs> but don't worry. We'll convince Griselda to take off the crystals right away. We have to. So right. <laughs> My beautiful castle. Griselda! Griselda! True! True! My castle is sinking! Why? It's because your crystals are... Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Princesses hate bad news. Okay, I won't tell you. Bartleby will. <coughs> it's because of all the crystals you put on it. No! Are you done? Oh. <sighs> okay, now I'm done. You have to take the crystal tower down. It's just too heavy. But their sparkle's so sparkly. I really, really love it. I know you do, but if you don't take the tower down, your castle will sink into the Grismo's home. And crush it. <laughs> no! True, she's doing it again. Griselda! Sorry, it's not my fault. I never knew where my Grismos lived. That's okay. Bartleby and I will try to hold the castle up while you and the Grismos take the crystals down. Good luck! I'll try, but I can barely see it's so bright out here. Why is it so... All right, <laughs> that was me. All right, Grismos, let's get stacking. Make it as high as you can. Should hold it up. We're almost to the ceiling. Keep going, hurry! True, we're running out of big things to stack up. Uh, then you small things. That's a great idea. Wait, hey, more small things. Phew. We did it! Success! We propped up the ceiling and saved the day, and the history books shall reflect this. Whoa! <laughs> okay, maybe saved wasn't the right word. Let's get everyone out of here. Grismos, we have to go outside. All right, Grismos, you know the deal. Hop to left, right, here we go. <gasps> we tried everything we could. Now we need some wish help. Cumulo! To the wishing tree! Oh, sorry about that. Are you and the wishes okay? Oh, yes. <laughs> I was just testing to see how high they can bounce. Bouncy good fun. It is. But that bright light really startled the wishes. That's the problem. It's from Griselda's castle. She built a crystal tower so tall and heavy, it's sinking into the Grismo's home. Great gravity. That is a problem. Come sit down, and we'll figure this out. <gasps> so how do you plan to fix this? Well, we need something to stop the glare outside while we work. Wait, no more sunglasses? Aw, oh, I was just getting used to looking like a cool cat. Uh, you know, an even cooler cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bartleby. We need to hold up the castle so it doesn't crush the Grismo's home. Not forever, but long enough to take down the crystal tower and put the crystals back where they belong. Sounds like you know exactly what you need to do. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree, share with me. Tiny wishes, one, two, three. Wishing tree, please share with me. 
what a fascinating group of wishes. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is Tip Top. It is a stacking wish made of smaller parts that work together to build bigger structures. Hey, they look like little acrobats! They'll work perfectly for holding up the Grismo ceiling. Now for wish number two. Ah, yes, Zeppelo. It can hold hot air inside its body and expand as it rises. Hmm, maybe he can help get us high up on the tower to help take off the crystals. And the last wish you have is... Slipsy. It is a slide wish. Not only can you slide down it, you can also slide up. What a unique specimen. I've never slid up a slide before. I'm just not sure how it can help me with Griselda's castle. Ah, uh, you'll, you'll think of something. You're a good thinker. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Okay, bye, Z. Good luck. Let's do this. Okay, B. First, we have to prop up the ceiling to stop the Grismo's home from caving in. Time for Tip Top. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Tip Top. Wish come true. Tip Top gets stucky. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. are tougher than they look. Tip-top job, tip-top. Now that they're holding up the castle, let's go help Griselda take the crystals down. Griselda, how's it going up there? Ah, not great. My Grismos can't see what they're doing. We need something to block the sun. Yeah, and it would need to be, hmm, huge. Zeppelo gets huge. Let's block some light. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Zeplo! Whoa. Wish come true! <laughs> okay, Zeplo, time to get huge! Whoa, you're humongous! Whoa. That tail! <laughs> Whoa! Hmm, where should Zeppelo be to block the light? Uh, um, little help. Ah, <laughs> gotcha. Whoa! Come on, Bartleby! <laughs> this way, Zeppelo! <sighs> it's working, Bartleby! It's wobbling. No, that's just me. So dizzy. Okay, let's hurry and get the rest of those crystals down and back where they... We better check on Tip Top. can't hold up the castle forever. We've got to get the crystals in here faster and rebuild the pillar. Hurry, Grismos! We have to run on our way. I'm not sure how much faster they can go. They're pooped. <laughs> What now, True? This gives me an idea. One Grismo got down here faster by sliding on a crystal. Hmm. If we get Slipsy near the tower, we can move a lot of crystals down here faster. Slipsy, let's do some sliding. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Slipsy! Wish come true! Hi, Slipsy. I need you to 
gonna make a slide all the way to the top of Griselda's castle. Woohoo! Go, Sexy! <laughs> Come on, Bartleby! But we're at the bottom. Z told us that we could slide down or up on Slipsy. Remember? Now this I gotta try! Let's slide! Up we go, Slipsy! Curve around and around and around! <clears throat> True, this is no time for playing. It's not for us. It's to help bring the crystals back under the castle. Okay, everyone. Put the crystals onto Slipsy and he'll slide them down fast. Whoa. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> That's it, Grizzlos! <laughs> now, don't get too excited, guys. They did it! Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> hey, look! They're putting the crystals back and rebuilding the pillar. for working so hard, Tip Top. You can rest now. <laughs> Great job, Slipsy and Zeplo. We couldn't have done it without you. Yay! Perfect. True. You saved my castle. I guess I got a little carried away trying to outdo everyone's dazzling doors. A little carried away? I know it wasn't a competition, but I did want to win. Yeah, but you also wanted to help your Grismos. That's what counts. <laughs> if you still want to add a little dazzle to your door, we have a surprise for you. <gasps> oh, it's perfect! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, yeah. Not again! Yeah. <laughs> Zelda grooving! Yeah. Woo woo! Sky loves! Z! A little early to be watching the sky, don't you think? The Lantern Festival hasn't even started yet! It won't be long now, though. Ooh, I can't wait to see our glow lanterns fill the sky with light. With light. Ah, well, you're about to see something else fly by that's just as amazing. Look! <laughs> sky globs? Wow, I've never seen them up close before. They only fly past here once a year when they migrate. Migrate? When it gets too warm, they head home to the chilly north. Woo woo woo! Ooh, I want to talk to them too. Woo 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 woo! <laughs> I think they heard us. Yeah, chatting's not my thing. I'm more the strong, silent type who always keeps his cool. You know. <laughs> Big Sam Blubs, Biggie Blubs, Sky Biggies, this this thing. <laughs> They even have a cute blubby baby. Oh, hi, baby. With your big blubby baby mouth, a whole kitty could fit in there. <laughs> I don't see any wings. They must fly with their tails. Yes, they're very graceful flyers. It's landing that they're not so great at. Ninja cat hide. Ninja cat hide. Can't see. Not not wanting to be seen. Shivering with fear. Aren't they wonderful, Bartleby? Bartleby? 
And where'd you go? Right here, too. We should really be going. To that non-Sky Blob Festival thingy, remember? That we were gonna go to? The Lantern Festival. I almost forgot. Okay, let's go. Wanna come with us, Z? Thanks, Drew. I'm good. I can see the Sky Blobs and the Lantern Festival from right here. It's the best view in the kingdom. Okay, Z, have fun. Gotta go. Bye! And you Blobs have a safe migration north. You know, it rains. <laughs> no, Bartleby. True. The sky blobs have turned around. What's going on? I think the music from the Lantern Festival is scaring them. That must be it. Because they're not going to the chilly north now. They're heading towards the steamy south. Steamy and warm sounds perfect. Not for the Sky Blobs. They only like cold weather. Hot weather won't be good for them at all. We have to turn them around. Can you stop them until we get there? I'll do my best. Ocumulo! Hi. Sorry we're missing the lantern launch, B. But we have to help. Yep, it's what we do. Time to hop aboard. Why aren't I hopping aboard? <laughs> yeah, legs weren't moving for some reason. To the sky blobs, please. Wee -woo -woo. Z, what are you doing? Trying to calm down the herd of sky blobs. Woo -wee -woo -woo. Say to them! I need to work on my sky blub call. <gasps> Easy little blub. It's okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're so freaked out right now. We're gonna need some wish help to calm them down and turn them around. To the wishing tree, cute. Oh, right. <laughs> Whoopsies. Thanks, Cumulo. Everyone okay? Yes. Did I forget to, um... <clears throat> did I forget to mention that the sky blobs get upset easily? Yes, but we know now. Okay, there you go, little wish buddy. If I can just calm the sky blubs down, I can get them flying to the chilly north again. But how? That will be a challenge. Let's sit and have a think about this. <sighs> how will you get the sky blubs to fly to the chilly north? First, the poor things are so jumpy and startled by unexpected things. I need to make them feel safe again. Like how you feel when you're with people you care about. <sighs> how warm and lovey. The way you make me feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Bartleby, exactly. A wish could help us do that. And if they're still spooked, then I'll need another wish that can lead them to the chilly north. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me.
What fantastic wishes! Let's see what the Wishipedia says about them. Your first wish is... Ah, Tis Way. It's a musical wish that plays music so sweet and enchanting that everyone loves it and wants to follow it. That's great! Tis Way can help get the Sky Blubs to follow us, too. For your second wish, you have... Sidebar. How sweet. It's a togetherness wish. It gives you that warm, cozy feeling, like when you're with somebody you care about. <laughs> I don't know what's come over me, True, but I love you more than ever. <laughs> a togetherness wish is perfect. It'll help the Sky Blubs see me as family and let me lead them to the chilly north. And your third wish is deflect. Very interesting. It's a shield wish that can deflect anything that bumps into it. Psst. Can you deflect a sky blob falling out of the sky? Yeah, I just, I was asking for a friend. A shield wish is cool, but I'm not sure how it will help us lead the sky blobs home. You'll put the wish to good use, like you always do, True. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Any questions? Just face bubble me. I know a lot about sky blobs. We will. Come on, B. Let's get our flying friends to the chilly north. Oh, no. Look how far they've flown already. They're almost at the steamy south. You can feel the steamy heat all the way over here. Ooh. That steamy warmth is awful. Just awful. Yeah. Poor baby Sky Blub. She's really scared. Oh, she totally is. Quick, Cumulo. We have to get ahead of them fast so we can turn them around. And I have just the wish to make them feel warm and lovey. Then I can lead them away. All together now, side by. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, side by. True! <laughs> Hi, Side By. We need the Sky Blubs to feel like I'm part of their family, so they'll feel safe enough to follow me. Can you? Whoa! Phew! <gasps> side By? No, wait, Side By! I want them to follow me, not Bartleby! What's happening? I'm tingly all over! <laughs> Even my tingles are tingling. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, what's with all this sky blobbing? Bartleby, they're attracted to you. To me? You mean like I'm their mama? No, 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 no. You're supposed to be their mama. You are. Uh, side by? Mm -hmm. Can we try this again? Mm -mm. Well, thanks anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, B. Side by only has the wish power to do that once. <laughs> Aww, the baby sky blub really loves you now. Aww, <laughs> tell her to stop. I can't. Even the baby's mama wants you to be her mama. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not ready to play mama. I don't even wash my own paws before dinner. <laughs> Until Side By's wish power wears off, you are there, Mama. But don't worry, you can calm them down. I can what? Oh! Get it down! Bartleby! <laughs> hey, thanks, little blubster. Soft, squishy, good. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, keep it together, me. Sky Blobs, if we're gonna do this, you gotta. You gotta. Listen to your mama, okay? And your mama needs some space. Woo -woo. Thanks, guys. It worked! They listened! To me! See? You're a natural! Now let's lead them home. Right, home. Um, Sky Blobs? Woo -woo. Turn around, please. The chilly north is that away? Gotta listen to your mother. Me. Come on, little blobbies. We're leaving the steamy self behind. Nice 
work, Mama Bee. Thanks, True. That's all in a day's work. <laughs> this trip will be a breeze. Huh? <laughs> what? We're stopping. Farming Valley, whether we like it or not. <laughs> oh boy, that was terrifying. At least I didn't get <laughs> squished. Oh no, are you okay, B? I'm okay. Clouds are as light as, well, clouds. Bring it in, B. I got you. Huh? True, why are you slobbering on me? No, oh, hey. So this is why they landed in Happy Farming Valley. It's snack time. Yes, it is, and I like their style. <laughs> oh, Bee. Mm -hmm. You like tangy tum-tums? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. I think they want to be fed by someone else. Someone named Mama. Oh. But their mouths are huge. What if I fall in? Fall in! Fall in! It's okay. They won't eat you. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Pretty sure? Oh, don't be scared. They love you, remember? And if anything happens, I'm right here to help. Okay, um, here's Sky Blob. Ooh. Get your tangy tom tom from your mom mom with the yum yums. <laughs> oh, well, can't say we didn't try. <laughs> maybe they'll feed themselves now. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. We're having trouble feeding the sky blubs. They won't eat the tangy tum tums. Ah, try holding the fruit in your mouth. You mean like this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Whoa, are you okay, Bee? So much flubbiness. But it didn't eat you, right? No, she didn't. That's my super brave kitty. Come on, we'll need more tangy tum-tums to fill those big bobby bellies. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. It's feeding time! Baby feeding, Mama Bee. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, fun fact. Sky Blob tongues feel like slobbery sandpaper. <laughs> okay, little Blob, let's get you and your family home. <laughs> Chili North, here we come. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, oh well, well, what now? Uh, are you thirsty? <laughs> Itchy? <laughs> Need a belly rub? <laughs> what? What? She's just saying thank you, Mama. <laughs> Oh, wow, you're welcome. Oh, oh, Bartleby, <laughs> we're getting close to the festival. Uh-oh, Bingo Bango's still playing. The Lantern Festival is still going on. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Sky Blobs, cover oh, your ears! Oh, Plug them good, darlings! Oh, it stopped. Oh, good. Whew. And if the music's done, that means... Ready? Three, two, one, lanterns away! Oh, look at that. Everyone's launching their glow lanterns! Lanterns scary! Lanterns very bad! Oh, oh, little sky blobs! Now the lanterns are scaring the blobs! Stay away from my babies! Lanterns away from my children! Huh? What happened? I forgot the lanterns did that! When they land or hit something, they pop <laughs> with the funny sound. That way, they don't leave any mess anywhere. Well, there's just way too many lanterns. <laughs> We've got to get rid of them all before my sky blobs go the wrong way again. But if we pop all the lanterns, we'll ruin the lantern festival. <sighs> what do we do? Let's think about this. Okay, let's think. If we could make a path for the sky blobs to fly through, then we wouldn't have to pop all the lanterns. Just some of them. Yeah, yeah, great idea. We'll use Deflect, my shield wish. He can clear a path by popping lanterns away. Right on, let's do it. 
Zip Zap Z Y Q U. Bring up D flat. Wish come true. Get behind me, everyone. Okay, Cumulo. Let's pop some glow lanterns. It's okay. Mama's best friend is taking care of those scary bad lanterns. Sky Blobs, it's okay. Just listen to your mama and follow me to the chilly north. The sky is looking clear. It's time to skip the drama. We've got somewhere we ought to be. Better listen to your mama. I'm the head of this family. Here's what we're going to do. We'll fly high up just like the wind and go woo. Great job, D Fleck. Ah, Nothing to worry about here, Sky Blubs. Whew. Now back in the back. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, we showed those lanterns who's boss. Now nothing's gonna stop my Sky Blubs from getting home to the <laughs> chilly north. <gasps> Are those storm clouds? No! Nah, my babies do not like those! But Mama can tell these things. Let's land until they pass. Huh? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Good stop. This is bad. The storm clouds are moving in from above and below. So they're all around us? Not yet they're not. It's clear flying through Pointy Rock Canyon. But it won't be clear for long. We have to go now. I don't know, True. Z said the blubs scare easily, and those pointy rocks look pretty scary. Whoa. And that thunder's scary, too. We have to think of some way to calm them down. <gasps> I've got it. I'll have Tizway play some relaxing music. That should keep the sky blubs calm and distracted. Tizway, I need you. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Tizway. Wish come true! Hi, Tizway. We need some music to help us lead our friends through Pointy Rock Canyon. <laughs> yeah, that's a little too mellow. We have to hurry, B. Okay, okay. We need music that'll get their fins a flapping so they'll follow us forward. Faster fin flapping music <gasps> coming right up. Sky Blubs, hey, you are the best. Baby Blub and all the rest. Sound off. Glove call. Woo wee woo wee woo woo. Woo wee woo wee woo woo. Woo 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 wee woo wee. Almost there, we're nearly through. There's only one thing left to do. Fly through. Woo woo. <laughs> the Chili North! We're here! <laughs> now I know why they call it the Chili North. <laughs> we helped the Sky Blubs get home. Can you tum tum any blub? <laughs> Yicky! Bit less sandpaper tongue, please. I'm so proud of you, Bee. You were a great mama. <sighs> Thanks, True. Well, side by his wish power will wear off soon, though. Then the Sky Blubs won't see me as their mama anymore. <gasps> Bartleby, side by his wish power doesn't last this long. It wore off ages ago. It did? So the Sky Blubs love me for being me? Yep, just like I do, Bartleby. Uh huh. Uh oh. What is it, baby? What? <laughs> I didn't have a tangy tum-tum fruit that time. <laughs> I think that one was just a kiss. Aw, <laughs> Mama is so happy now. The Kitty Natty. Front paw, purple. <laughs> that means I have to reach way over there. <laughs> is that... 
isn't possible. What is it, Bee? It's a message mouse. A message mouse? Whoa. It must have a secret message for me. Whoa. <laughs> 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 You've been Bartlebeat. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha! Ta-da! What's the message? Who's it from? Only the most secret group ever. The Kitty Natty. The Kitty Waddy? The Kitty Natty. <gasps> Master Bartleby, the Kitty Natty requests your presence. Please follow this message mouse too. The Black Tabby Dojo. Let's get a giddy up, Drew. Slow down, Bertleby. Can't lose it now. Gotta get to the dojo. What's a dojo? It's a place for kitty cats to train and become stealth ninjas. Hi ya, hoo ha! Wow! <laughs> and I tripped. You're gonna be a ninja cat? Yeah, well, you know, I already am. Well, uh, a teeny bit. I only have my yellow tabby belt. That means I'm just a beginner. Now I can finally go for my red tabby belt, no matter how long it takes. It takes a long time? Does that mean you'll be gone for a long time? Look, I'll come back with cool new ninja moves. You know, like hi -ya and meow and like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Those moves are pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! We lost the message mouse. No, 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 we didn't lose it. We're here. I'm True, and you know Bartleby. I am Shadow. <sighs> I am Silverclaw. Welcome to the Black Tabby Dojo. Whoa! Red Tabby Belt, Red Tabby Belt, gonna get the Red Tabby Belt. If you pass our many, many tests. Until then, please say goodbye to your friend. Oh, right. I'll miss you, True. I'll miss you too, B. But I know you'll do great. Goodbye, friend. See you soon. sound of this river. I'm waiting for my friend Bartleby. He's gonna be a while. He's in ninja cat training. The Black Tabby Dojo is where the Kitty Natty master their strength, balance, and focus. Our training stations await you. The Kitty Natty have no fear. We live in shadow, we disappear. Ah! Our perfect balance is no trick. You must be careful, those birds prick. That's my backside. Nothing can distract our mind. <laughs> perfect focus hard to find. Learn from us, young Bartleby, and soon you'll be a kitty Nazi. I did it! I did a tail pull! Did you see that? I did one! Me! Now pull yourself up. <sighs> Does almost up count? No! <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Pretty sure I'm okay. Again. <gasps> hop, little acorn, one, two, three. Hop, little acorn, hop to me. Hop, little acorn, one, two, three. Hop, little acorn, hop to me. Whoa! The 
water is not supposed to do that. What is it? What's wrong? Oh no! Your home is full of water! Don't worry, little friend. We'll get to the bottom of this. I gotta keep my focus. <laughs> Stay focused, Bartleby. Come on! Something is not right in the forest. I will investigate. Again. Hurry, everybody! Where is all this water coming from? That hill looks like it's going to... Whoa! Geyser! I have to stop it from gushing before everything floods. This log uh, is too, too heavy. Ooh, this mushroom might plug it. Flying mushroom. Unusual. <laughs> Congratulations, Master Bartleby. You have discovered many new ways to fall down. That was the mushroom's fault. Again. <laughs> mushroom flies back. Very unusual. <laughs> hmm. Well, that didn't work. I can't fix this on my own. I need to get some help from the witching tree. Cumulo, over here. To the witching tree, please. <gasps> Where's True going? I hope she's okay. <sighs> ah! Oh, I shadow. <laughs> hey, uh, I have to go. Um. Check on someone something outside the dojo. You are free to leave any time. But once you go, you cannot return. The Black Tabby Dojo will disappear the moment you leave it. No dojo? No. No red tabby belt? No. Oh. Um, well, um, you know, I'm 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 sure everything is fine. I'm, I'm just probably just worrying too much. Yeah, that's what I'm probably doing. I'm just probably worrying too much. Ready? <laughs> Follow me. Perfect pitch. Wow, that sounds amazing. La. <laughs> <laughs> hey, True, isn't this cool? I am testing some Wish's musical abilities. Go ahead, try it. <laughs> Bravo! Thanks, Wishes. We can play more later. <laughs> Uh, where is Bartleby today? Um, he's with some forest friends training for, um, cat stuff. <gasps> you mean the Kittinati? You know about the Kittinati? The ancient tribe of cat ninjas as old as history itself? Of course. That's actually why I'm here. The river outside of their dojo was rising and flooding forest creatures out of their homes. I'm sure we can find a solution. Let's sit and think. <gasps> this sounds serious. It is. I was lying by the river, not far from their dojo. Then all of a sudden, boosh! A huge geyser of water blasted all over. Fascinating. The water is spraying everywhere, so I need a wish to stop it. Then, I need to figure out where all the water is coming from. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Magic 
Oh, what exciting selections! Let's look them up in the Wishopedia. Your first wish is Grozer. Oh, yeah. Interesting. What? Tell me! It can make any vegetation grow larger. <laughs> Veggie what? Taste in who? You know, greenery. Like vegetables and plants. Ooh, there are lots of plants in the forest. I could grow one larger to plug the geyser. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now your second wish is Bubba. Ooh, listen to this. It's a swimming wish that lets you breathe underwater. That's perfect. If I'm going to find out what's causing the flood, I'll be glad to have Bubba with me. And your last wish is Hushabai. A musical wish. It can play a wide selection of soothing songs. Cool. But I'm not sure anyone's going to need to take a nap. Maybe you can use it for yourself after. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Z. Come on, wishes. Let's go stop the flood. <laughs> we are Kitty Naughty. We do not giggle while training. We are Kitty Nutty. We do not purr while training. <laughs> right. No purring, no giggling. Super. True! True! Look at me! Leap! Again. Whoa! The guys are still gushing water. Okay, Grozer. Are you ready? Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Grozer! Wish come true! Can you make a mushroom big enough to plug the geyser like a cork in a bottle? Uh-huh. Then grow, grow, grow! Uh-oh! Here comes more water! It worked! Thanks, Grozer! <laughs> we stopped the water above ground, but it's still flooding your home underground. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll find out where the water is coming from. What is he doing? <sighs> he has been weakened by the power of the feather. What news of the forest? The girl named True is working to solve a problem involving water. True? You, my True? Isn't she great? Oh, uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have no idea how. I, I don't even like feathers. Until I can figure out how to stop the water from flooding your home, I hope the snuggly spot will do. <laughs> oh no! Mini geysers? Lots of them? And they're headed for the dojo! I've got to warn Bartleby. I'm invisible. Can you see me? Yes. Be like shadow. Think like shadow. Got it. <laughs> How about now? Ah, water! I'm wet! I'm wet everywhere! <laughs> Towel! <laughs> <laughs> How did you know I was in trouble? I saw many geysers heading towards the dojo. But you can stop them, right? I mean, you brought some wishes, right? Of course. Well, I'm coming with you. 
Bartleby, we must remind you, if you leave this dojo, you cannot return. I know, but I have to help my friend. <laughs> Where did these geysers come from? The ground got rumbly, and then my feet got tumbly, and then the river started rising. The river! Bartleby, that's it. If the river water is rising, maybe there's a problem in the river. If I can go underwater, I can find the solution. But true, you can't go into the river. I can with some wish help. Bubba, I need you. Let Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Bubba! Wish come true! Good day for a swim, Bubba! Hmm, looks like all the river water is under that hill. Which the big geyser is sitting on. But why is the river water rising so fast? Let's go back that way. There, look! A puppy puff's in trouble. And it's blocking the river's other paths. Excuse me, Mr. Puffy Puff, but you're blocking one of the river's paths. Are you stuck? Can I please unstick you? <laughs> shh, shh, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. Aw, you are scared, aren't you? Aw, I'll bet when you get scared, you get puffy. Am I right? Hmm. So to get you to unpuff, I'll need to calm you down. <gasps> My third wish, hushabye. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, hushabye. Wish come true. <laughs> we need some relaxing music, hushabye. Can you do it? You still look a little worried. Let me sing you a song. Hush a hush a hush a bye, don't be afraid. No need to cry, hush a hush a bye. Think sweet thoughts, then close your eyes. Go to sleep, hush a hush a bye. Swim free, Mr. Puffy Puff. <laughs> And the river's flowing again! You did it, Hushabye! Thank you! Time to go back in the pack! Come on, Bubba! Let's go see if the mini geysers have stopped! Ugh. Ugh. Huh? with just your tail? You mean I was just like the kid in Addy Masters? Yes, you were. We saw everything. You did? I'm... I'm sorry I left my training at the dojo, but I had to help True. 
And if that means I can't... Huh? You made the right choice, Bartleby. Indeed. You did what Kitty Natty are trained to do. You focused your mind and body to help those in need. And it is our opinion that you have earned a red tabby belt. A red tabby belt? Meow! That's the most amazing thing ever! Way to go, me! Way to go, me! Way to go! <clears throat> I'm... <clears throat> <laughs> Bartleby. Now you are a true Kitty Natty Red Belt. Thank you, O oh Masters of Kitty Natty. Your true friend is waiting. Look, True! I'm a Red Tabby Kitty! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No one saw that, right? We're all good? Okay. Come on, True. Let's go play. <laughs> Ninja Cat or not, you're still the Bartleby I know and love. Okay, Bartleby, if you were the Rainbow King, where would you want to set up my Nibbles and Zips party? So many choices. Um, uh, let's see. Um, here! <laughs> Bartleby. What? This is the perfect spot. It's where all the snack action is. Wow. Getting ready for a juice party with the king sure is making me... Thirsty? Then it's time for a sip of sweet, sweet Suzuni juice. Nectar of the gods. After you. Uh, excuse me. Oops. Sorry, was that the last one? You just gave me a great idea. You want to use a straw like a pretend mustache? <laughs> no, silly. We can get some freshly squeezed Suzuni juice for the Rainbow King. And I know just where to get it. Yeah! Nibbles and sips, nibbles and sips. No quibbles or squabbles. We'll slurp and we'll gobble. Each crumb and each drip of those nibbles and sips. <laughs> Rainbow Guard! I'm feeling nibbly and sippy. What time does True's party start? Hmm. At 3 p.m. Lavender luck. That gives me plenty of time to get ready. Rainbow Guard, uh -huh. please polish my scepter for me. <laughs> While I practice by nibbling and sipping. There it is. Happy Farming Valley. And there's the Zuni Moss Island. These islands are so beautiful. Well, hi there, True and Bartleby. Hi, Farmer Mosser. We're having a Nibbles and Sips party for the Rainbow King today, and we were wondering if we could have some... Fresh squeezed Zazuni juice. Wow. How did you know? That's why everyone comes to Zazuni Moss Island. It's like he can read minds. I am very impressed by this farmer. <laughs> The zingy goodness of Zazuni juice comes from the Zazuni moss we grow right here in our fields. Ah, oh, this is so... Whoa! Soft Zazuni moss. So cozy. So very softy soft. Can Zazuni moss grow anywhere, Farmer Mosser? We can only grow it on this island because it grows so fast. Watch. That is fast. Now I'll show you how this mask gets juiced. Bartleby, <laughs> come on, you silly sleepyhead. Huh? What? Oh, I'm right! Ah, uh, just one more second. Okay. Okay, I really have to stop now. And here we have our Zazuni juicer. Wow, that juicer is humongous! The Zazuni moss is scooped up and then dropped into the juicer. It squishes and stretches the moss and then twists it to squeeze all the juice out. Amazing. Is it Zazuni juice yet? Almost. Almost? And there it is. Freshly squeezed Zazuni juice. Enjoy. <sighs> Perfect. Take as many as you like for your nibble and uh, uh, sip a thing. 
Wow. Thanks, Thanks Farmer Mosser. Anytime. Bye-bye now. Huh? You don't belong there, Moss. Bartleby, come on. I'll be right with you. I should probably give this back to Farmer Mosser. Farmer Mosser? Farmer Mosser! Farmer Mosser? Farmer Mosser! <laughs> oh, well. Guess I'll just have to hold on to this very soft piece of moss. Super soft, soft moss of ultimate softness. Wow. So soft. All settled? Ah, you bet, yeah. It's a long ride. I could really use a nap. Come on, Bartleby. The king's gonna be here any minute. Uh, fine. <laughs> okay, Moss. You just stay here until I can come back and nap on you. I'll take you back home later. Sleep tight. One last thing. Can you help me set the table, please? I sure can. You take the nibbles and I'll take the sips. Whoa! Is everything okay? Um, yes. I, I um, oh, I just see a spot that needs cleaning, but I'm on it. How's it coming with the sips? Good! So far, so good! Any second now! It sure is taking you a long time to put out three juice balls. Well, I like things to be just so. All done? Hold on! <sighs> Whoa! What's all this? <laughs> Funny story. Remember all that moss we saw at the moss farm today? Well, I actually sort of brought a teeny tiny bit of it home with me. <laughs> yes, I did that. Teeny tiny? Well, it was teeny tiny when I got it, but it's not so teeny tiny now. Oh, right. Farmer Mosser told us that the moss grows really, really fast. Remember? Uh-oh, I think I slept through that part. Did I mention how wonderfully soft that moss was? <laughs> A few times. But on the bright side, now the whole house can be my bed. I'm always just seconds away from a full-on nap. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Everywhere, every time, every place. I can sleep or have a snooze on a lamp or on some boots, on a table or a door, on the fridge or on the floor. Toadstool table, that's for me. The list is endless, can't you see? Let it spread, I'll have a bed of mossy softness for my head. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Everywhere, every time, every place. Oh, moss, moss, you are so sweet. Soft. That was a great song, Bee, but look how much moss grew while you were singing. It'll be hard to have a nibbles and sips party when my house is so mossy. No problem. We'll get rid of it. It grew back. That's just what happened at the farm. Okay, new plan. Let's have the party outside. We'll tidy up the moss later. Great thinking. We can keep the moss from spreading by closing all the doors and windows. Quick, Bee, close the door. Problem solved. Now we can have our nibbles and sips party outside. Yep, that moss isn't going... anywhere. Moss problem is now a big moss problem, and we're going to need some help to stop it. Some witch help. Cumulo! Hi, Cumulo. Please take us to the witching tree. 
Faster! The moss is spreading! Hurry! Good. Oh, greetings, Chu and Bartleby. Hi, Z. What are you doing? <laughs> We're practicing balancing. Gotcha. <laughs> Thanks, wishes. We will work on this more later. What can I help you with, Chu? I'm hosting a Nibbles and Sips juice party for the king today. But I have a big Zazuni moss problem, and it seems to be getting bigger. Quarks and quasars, is it ever? Moss is spreading all over Rainbow City. All right, let's stop and have a think. <sighs> Looks like the moss is a big problem. What were you thinking, True? Well, Bartleby brought some moss back from Happy Farming Valley, and it's growing really fast. But it's so soft. <laughs> <laughs> I need some wishes to help me stop the moss from growing and spreading everywhere. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. from the wishing tree, Z. Can you show me what their powers are? I certainly can. Let us see. Ah, yes, here it is. <laughs> Whoosh is the name of your windy wish. It has respiration super capacity. Huh? That means he sucks in and blows out really strongly. <sighs> <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of moss to blow away. What's next? Where is... <laughs> Chilzy is a wish that can freeze things in ice. Perfect. I could freeze the moss to stop it from growing. Great idea. We'll make mossicles. <laughs> <laughs> Your last wish is twisty. It can twist things in all sorts of different ways. <laughs> I have no idea how Twisty will slow down the moss, but I'll think of something. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> Bye, Z. Thanks for all your help. Bye. <laughs> Splendid work, Rainbow Guard. My scepter is as shiny as a star now. I'm ready to go to True's house for the nibbles and sips party. Mm -hmm. <gasps> a wall of moss? I don't think it's moss season. I can't get through it. Can you try? <laughs> Purple petunias, what a predicament. Mm. Oh no! It's getting worse. If we don't stop this fast, the Rainbow Kingdom will turn into the Zazuni Moss Kingdom. Mm, well, oh, terrible thing a Zazuni Moss Kingdom would be. Bartleby, you've seen what's going on around here, right? I know. I'm just gonna miss it so much. Oh, Bartleby, time to get this mossy problem under control. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Woosh. Wish come true. Are you ready to huff and puff 
and blow the moss away? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Whoosh, try harder. I know you can do it. <laughs> Whoa, wow! <laughs> Hold on. When you inhaled, the moss ripped off and went right into your mouth. Can you inhale the rest of it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Goodbye, Moss! Wow! You have the suction power of a super vacuum! Great job, Woosh! Now for the inside! The inside, too? Bartleby. <sighs> okay. After you... <laughs> now let's clean up the rest of the neighborhood. I'll never forget how soft you were. So very soft. I'll get you something just as soft to sleep on. Promise? Pa promise. Okay, but I don't think you'll find anything softer than super comfy soft Suzuki. <gasps> it already reached the Rainbow Castle. Can you hold any more moss? <laughs> Thanks for helping, Loosh. I'll be back to get you after you digest and get smaller again. But right now, it's time for some freezing action. Cumulo! We have to hurry to stop this moss. Okay, Chilzy, come on out. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Chilzy! Wish come true! Settle in, Chilzy. Get ready, Bartleby. It's about to get icy. Ha! Huh. Good thing I have built-in mittens. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Do you really think Chilsey can freeze all this? We have to try. Time to freeze some moss. <laughs> It's working. The moss stopped growing. Let's keep going. Chilsey did it. Everything's frozen. And now the rainbow castle. Ready? Chilzy, great job! <laughs> now back in the pack. <laughs> Phew! Hello, True Bartleby. I thought I wasn't going to make it to your nibbles and sips party today. We had a bit of a Zazuni moss problem, Your Majesty. But we stopped it from growing. Once we get it all shoveled up, it's nibbles and sips for all. Yay! And look, the weather couldn't be better for it. All warm and sunny. Warm? And sunny? I've got a soggy, sinking feeling about this, True. What? Huh? what? what? Oh. oh. I should have left that piece of moss back on Zazuni Moss Island. I'm sorry, True. I did this. It's all my fault. It's okay, Bartleby. We'll get things back to normal with my last wish. Twisty the Twist Wish. How can twisting stop the moss from mossing? All that wish does is twist, twist, twist. I 
feel like we've seen twisting like this before. But where? I twisted dough into pretzels yesterday for lunch. They were delicious. Yum. Oh, wow. <laughs> really good. And I twisted a balloon into a balloon mouse for you this morning. I love that balloon mouse. Um, while it lasted. And the juicer we saw at Mosser's farm, it had a funnel that twisted the moss and made the juice. Wait a minute. Bartleby, that's it. Twisting turns the Zuni moss into the Zuni juice. The moss is gone and only juice is left. Sounds like a great plan. If anyone can get rid of this moss, it's you, true? Thanks, Rainbow King. Ready, B? Always. Except for when I'm napping. But I'm not, so yes! <laughs> Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Twisty! Wish come true! Okay, Twisty, let's Twisty twist the moss and make it go away! <laughs> Rodeo rainbows! That's great! Thanks, True. My pleasure, Your Majesty. Bow. Let's go, B. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Of a giant juice ball. And it's making me thirsty. <laughs> okay, everyone, get ready to sip, sip, sip. Woosh and Chilsey really helped clean up that moss, but Twisty made enough Zazuni juice for the whole Rainbow Kingdom. Mm -mm. Love that Zazuni juice. And it's great with fishy poof crackers. <laughs> okay, Twisty and Woosh, back in the pack. Cherry Jubilee, true. These nibbles and sips are superb. Thank you, Your Highness. And best of all, there's no moss left in the Rainbow Kingdom. Here, here. <sighs> Bartleby, I haven't forgotten my paw promise. I knew you wouldn't. I got you a new pillow to nap on that's just as soft as moss. <gasps> Aw, thanks, True. But there's no way a pillow could be as soft as... <laughs> Sweet dreams, B. The Big Green Bounce. Can I look now? How about now? Oh, can I please? Okay, can I please, 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 please look? Okay. Open your eyes. True. That is the most... I mean, it's just so... How did you... Okay, I have no idea what this is. What is it? It's my invention for the Maker Shaker Expo. I call it the I Heart You Bubblegram. It's magnificent! I love it! Watch this. Wait for it. Wow! Are those sugar glitter swirls? <gasps> A heart! For me? Even better! A heart you can eat! You sure know the way to my heart, True. Mm, mm, mm. You're gonna win the sunshine ribbon for sure! Thanks, Bee. Winning would be nice, but I'm just excited to see what everyone else has made. True! I just heard about this maker, shaker, whatever thingy. You need to help me win the sunshine ribbon! Griselda, you can win it without my help. You always make cool stuff, like your giant Grisbot! No, no, no! True! Something less stompy. Grizzbots are so passe. I've been trying to come up with an idea, but the Grizzmos are being so loud carving my wall of me. Well, it didn't quite catch.
capture my... I don't know what. Do it again. Talk later, True. Oh, what's this? Green? Crystals? Gross! I only work with pink. Ugh! Bouncy green crystals? Now that I can work with! I need you to... <laughs> okay, I need you to make me an invention! A thousand silver salutations! Welcome to the Maker Shaker Expo! Yay! The winner takes hold the spectacular Sunshine Ribbon! Yay! Now, don't forget to vote for your favorite invention. Oh, that means me too. Indigo Inventions. True, this is remarkable. What is it? This is my I Heart You Bubblegram! Ooh, how does it work? Allow me to show you. <laughs> Terrific topaz! Oh, and a snack, too. <laughs> Lovely lavender! I bubble heart you, too. Now, shall we see what everyone else has come up with? Yes! yes! Let's go! Mellow yellow. A soothing rock fountain? Look how the water comes up right through the rocks. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mila. What's your invention? Have you ever thought that one high five just isn't enough? Always. Then you'll love this. Presenting the high five hat for when you're feeling under five. Spring loaded high fives? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That's five times the fun. Who wants to try Bubbly's Azuni juice? A juice bubbler? I have to see how this works. Oh, this'll be fine. I just push the button here, the bubbles bubble up, and they come out here. Tickles. <laughs> Purple buttons. Cheers! Cheers! Excuse, Excuse you! you. <laughs> <laughs> Why, hello, little helpers. What did you make? I've got my own personal cleaning machine. <laughs> That's also very impressive. Ooh. Bee, it's Griselda's invention. Let's go check it out. Griselda! Griselda! You get a bouncy bling bling, and you get a bouncy bling bling, and you get a bouncy bling bling. They're so boingy. Excuse me, would you please sign my bling bling? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncy bling blings, invented by yours truly, Princess Griselda. Griselda, can you show me how your machine works? Works? I have no idea how it works. Details are so not my thing. Details are exactly my thing. Okay, let's see now. First, the Grismos carry the green crystals up the ladder and put them into the hopper. Then it seems like the crystals get all smooshed up into a green goo. Right, and that green goo gets rolled up into a ball, which comes out the front. What was that? Green water spews into the river. Hmm, this doesn't look quite right. I don't think this is normal. We should go ask Griselda. Griselda, did you know that? I'm the best inventor. Yes, smiley face. Now, what did you want me to sign? Actually, B and I were just at the back of your machine, and it looks like... You were saying how cool the back of my machine is? Well, actually, there's green... Polka dots on these bling-blings? I don't normally go for green, but these dots are too adorbs. Winky face! So, are we gonna tell her about the green water thingy? I don't know, B. 
Griselda's really enjoying this. I don't want to ruin it for her. Come on, let's go see who's going to win the sunshine ribbon. Yeah, maybe green water's good for the river. I am delighted to announce the best invention of the Maker Shaker Expo. The winner of the sunshine ribbon is... Please, 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 please. do it. I'd like to thank everyone who helped me, but since I did it all myself, I'll just thank me. <laughs> Where did you get the idea for these bouncing bling blings? They're fantastically fun and so pretty. I based them mostly on myself. Griselda! Griselda! seen this before. Or this. And especially this. are really big. Those aren't bling blings. Those are people. <laughs> Perplexing pistachio. This water's green. Oh, dear. Rainbow King, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Just a little wet and round and oh, oh, bouncy. Okay, <laughs> what is going on? People are turning into bouncy bling blings. Come again? It happened to the Rainbow King after he was splashed by that green river water. <gasps> Griselda's machine! We need to stop this before everyone turns into bling blings. Then let's ask Griselda to turn off the machine. Hey, Griselda! We can't. Why not? She's having such a fun time with this. Also, she doesn't know how the machine works, so telling her wouldn't help. Smiley face! So how do we stop the water? Well, we know how the machine works. We can fix it. Here, grab on. Why put a turny thing on here if it won't turn? Ah. Uh-oh. We've got to stop this. We need some wish help. Oh, Cumulo! To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo! <laughs> Zee, we have a huge problem! True, Bartleby! Have you seen these bouncy bling blings? Aren't they fun? They are fun, but people are turning into them. Wow, that's super fun! But you seem worried. Explain, please. Griselda's machine is turning all the water green and some people got splashed by it. And then they became polka dotted. And it gets worse, they inflated. And then they started bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. Just, just like the bouncy bling blings. Wandering wormholes. But sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, Griselda's really proud of her invention, so we need a way to stop the green water without having to tell her. Right. And I'm sure you can with some wish help. We also need a way to unboing the boinging citizens. They'll keep bouncing forever if we don't get them back to normal. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. <sighs> wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Oh. 
wishes are spectacular, True. Let's see what the Wishipedia says about them. First stop is Tie Tie. This wish can tie itself into all sorts of knots. Great! Tie Tie, you can help tie up our loose ends. Tie Tie! Oh, Bumbershoot has fantastic parachute powers. Bumbershoot can float you down to the ground safely from any height. Bumbershoot, you can help catch the bouncing citizens. Uh huh, Bumbershoot. <gasps> this is one of my favorite wishes. Cubigly! Great to see you again, Cubigly. Cubigly! Cubigly has a jiggly, gelatinous body that can absorb anything into it. Hmm, I don't know how Cubigly can help stop the green water or the boinging citizens, but I'm sure we can put your gooey center to good use. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Thanks, Z. See you later. <laughs> now let's put a stop to this green water. Time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Ty Ty. Wish come true. Hi, Ty Ty. I need you to give the pipe a big hug. Yes! Bye bye, green water. Where's a high five hat when you need one? Yay! I want to be bouncy too. My insides feel jiggly. I'm tired. I don't know how to bounce anymore. Indigo insomnia. This is ruining my <laughs> royal nap. Hang in there. We're going to figure this out. Oh, Cumulo! Take us up, please. <laughs> Never get tired of that, Cumulo. Time for my second wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Bumbershoe. Bumbershoe. Wish come true. Hi, Bumbershoe. I need your help to catch and hold down those boingy citizens. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Bumbershoe. Are you sure this is gonna work? Only one way to find out. Roll over, Cumulo. Woohoo! Ah! Grab on to Bumbershoe! Okay, Bumbershoe, now! Bumbershoot! It worked! Everyone stopped bouncing! Oh, great! Thank you for unbouncing us, True. I couldn't have done it without Bumbershoe. You were super helpful. Bumbershoe! Now tuck yourself back in! <laughs> Okay, now stay put. If you move, you'll start bouncing again. Um, True, I think Ty Ty's about to unty Ty. Oh no. Okay, it's finally time to tell Griselda to turn her machine off. My tummy is all jiggly. Bubbly is a Zuni juice to calm your belly storm. Hmm, that just might settle it. <laughs> Excuse me. Huh, Ten percent less jiggly. Make that twenty percent. What's your name? Here you go. Puppy face. Next. A lineup. Griselda. 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 Bunny ears. Next. She can't hear us. We need to get past this crowd. Sounds like a job for a stealth kitty nafty master. Follow me. Almost there. <laughs> so, how many fishy poop crackers for me and the friend to get to see the princess next? Griselda, no matter what it takes, even if it means st 
Standing in line. Next! 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 <gasps> Griselda, what's your name? It's me! Here you go, it's me. I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something? What a unique name. Griselda, it's me, True. Your machine is turning people into bouncy bling-blings. What? Ah! Ow. <gasps> No way! How could my machine turn people into bling-blings? Well... <clears throat> Allow me, True. <sighs> when the green crystals ran through the machine, bouncing bling-blings weren't the only thing that came out. Green water gushed out of the back and into the river, turning it green. The green water ran through the city, and any citizens that touched it blew up like bling-blings. They started bouncing higher and higher and higher and higher, so we had to jump off Cumulo to catch them with Bumbershoot, which was super scary. Then we ran to tell you to turn off the machine, but the Grismos said no, and we said please, and the Grismos said no, and we said pretty please, and then they said no, so we waited in line until it was our turn to see you, and we said, <gasps> Griselda, you're turning people into bling blings <sighs> Nice job, B. Um, what's happening? It's gonna blow! Everyone die! I'm... I'm... Polka Dotty! I'm... Bloaty! What's happening to me? She's way bouncier than the others. Cumulo! After that bouncy, boingy princess! Sounds yummy. It really does, doesn't it? Less talking, more saving! Take us down, Cumulo! It's time for my third wish. trick. I'm sorry too, Griselda. I should have told you about the green water in the first place. Oh, I really will miss all that selfie taking and autograph signing. If only there was a way to fix the green water problem. Hold on, I have an idea. It worked! The little helper's cleaning machine did the trick. You're a genius, True. Thanks, Bartleby. It sure is nice to have everything back to normal. Next. Everything back to normal, babe. 